y'all welcome to my channel it's your girl mahogany patrice for those that are new what's up if you're not new welcome back so today's video is going to be a unpopular opinion video but you guys already know before we get into the video what i need y'all to do tell me what i need you to do like comment and subscribe to the channel that's it that's all period so like what you doing go subscribe to my channel like and watch my video Duh. but like I said today will be an unpopular opinion video I already know some of y'all about to drag me in the comments I honestly don't care that's what it's called having a opinion about you know this is just my opinion not yours I mean hey to each his own but hey y'all already know I have my opinions right now on sheet paper because I record my phone of course so let's get into the video, okay? <laughs> so the first one is, y'all remember, and don't make me seem like I'm old, like please don't make me seem like I'm old, cause I'm not old. I don't think I'm old. I ain't old, no I ain't old. So y'all remember how when like the 90s babies was like, Maybe it was like in 2002, like maybe 2000 babies too, I don't know, I guess. But the 90s babies, we had like the little cereal scrawls that, you know, we used to, after we eat our cereal, you know, get a cereal scrawl, you know, you drink the milk out of it, I'm going to insert a picture right here. Um, They need to bring those back because baby, them things was good, okay? Like, what are y'all doing? Like, and if you think about it, like if you honestly really sit here and think about it, if y'all bring the cereal scrawls back, y'all can take the plastic scrawls and y'all can stop making them. And that'll save the environment. Save, save the turtles. You already know. Like, why don't y'all just bring back cereal scrawls? Like, them things used to be banging. Like, for real, for real. But, yeah, that's just my opinion on that. So, hey. Um, my second opinion is cookie dough is better than cake batter. Don't get me wrong. Cake batter smack. Even though we ain't supposed to eat it. Like, we ain't supposed to even eat cookie dough. Like raw cookie dough, but raw cookie dough be smacking though. But raw cake better smack too. But cookie dough is better. Like, come on now, y'all mean tell me that y'all ain't y'all don't eat raw cookie dough? Why are you lying? Why is you lying? Cause you know you eat raw cookie dough. I'm not the only one. You know you eat it, and you know it smack. Period. Poop. <laughs> Number three is. Having a boyfriend is so overrated, like, maybe that's why I'm saying. Maybe that's why I'm saying. But yeah, having a boyfriend is so overrated, like, y'all, and please enjoy your, even if you're a teenager, enjoy your teens. Like, boo, you do not need to settle down with no boy. Right now, no, go live your life, have fun, go travel the world. Go meet as many dudes as you want. Talk to as many dudes as you want without being labeled a hoe. And if they, I mean, they still gonna label you a hoe, but I mean, at least you know you not no hoe hoe. Like, you know, you ain't no hoe in a relationship. You could you could be a regular, regular, schmegular hoe, but you ain't gotta be the hoe that's in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, go be that regular, regular, schmegular hoe. Now, oh. Like, 
they are so overrated. Like, Jordans is not really all that. For one, I feel like they just be making the same shoe over and over and over again. Like, come on now. You need a new design or something. Like, I don't even, I don't wear Jordans. For one, I like Nike. Uh, no. Um, number six. Um, going to college is overrated. Honestly. Because if you think about it now, come on now. Let's be honest and serious. When you in college and you have your... But like, come on now. If when you have your, students lo your student loans, you have to pay those back. Like, you gonna be in debt. So, why would you, like, don't get me wrong, college is good for those who, you know, attend and everything like that. Me, I did not attend college. Um, I am going to school. It's not, it's a cosmetology college, but it's not like college college. But you gonna be in debt. You gonna have to pay back that money. And nine times out of ten, you're not gonna really, like, yeah, okay, yeah, you're gonna go into the job that you want. But you're not going to go into that job immediately. You know what I'm saying? The, like, okay, take for instance. I stay and I work. And then my friend, they go to college. Of course, I'm going to make more money than them because they're in school and they have to put all that time and focus in school. But we know when they get out, you know, okay. Yeah, they get they have a degree and everything like that. But me, I have I have money. Don't get me wrong, yeah, when you go to high school, you have, you have book smart, you know, if you're street smart, that's good too. Hey, you know how to survive either way, you know what I'm saying? But I just really feel like college is really overrated, like, you don't have to go to college to be smart or to get a job or, you know, to do anything in your life. Whatever you want to do, you can do it, like, as long as you put your mind to it, you got this boo, like, don't let nobody tell you, oh, girl, you got to go to college. Girl, no, you do not, point blank, period. Um, my opinion family that's toxic if they toxic cut them out your life tell them you got to go okay boo goodbye you don't need nobody around you who gonna bring you down you don't need nobody around you who's telling you 24 7 you worthless you ain't gonna do nothing you ain't gonna be nothing in life you don't need that go get if you got some old family out here and they bring positivity to you and around your aura, 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 however you say it, and you know, in your space, and this positivity, girl, go be around them, boy, go be around them, you do not need to sit around that toxic, and that negativity, no, boo, we're not doing that 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, and 2025, and the rest on, we're not doing no toxic family, period, point blank, goodbye, Flashing money is like so not cute. Like y'all do so be in the video, you know how to do be like all that. Mm, that's not cute. Because a girl like me, I'd be like, I'm ready to rob you. Period. I'd be like, I'm ready to rob you. Drop your ad. That's not cute to be flashing money 24-7. In your videos or on your snap. It's not cute. Don't know. A real girl or a real woman is not impressed by no term money. Point blank people. You want to know what you got in your head, what you think, like, how you see the world, and where your heart really is. Period. We don't care about your money because what you can get us, we don't get ourselves. Um, my ninth one is good people always get done wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really do. A good person will get done so wrong and to the point they just sit back and be like, well, dang, what I'm doing wrong. And it's like, boo, you ain't doing nothing wrong. Boo, 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 honey, baby girl, huh. you doing everything right. They just don't know how to handle your realness. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to handle that. So they're going to do you wrong because they think they can, they can F over you. You know what I'm saying? And baby girl, when they realize they done burn that last bridge with you, when they realize they burned that last bridge with you. 
Honey, trust and believe. That's when they gonna try to apologize. That's when they gonna be like, oh, you were so right. Boo boo, no, 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 no. No. Cause I was doing good by you and you wanted to do me dirty. So keep doing me dirty and watch me grow. Okay? Americans, we have to work twice as hard for anything that we're going to like. I will say this again. Us African Americans have to work twice as hard for anything we want in life. That is a proven fact. Point blank, period. It's proven already. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, okay. We have to work twice as hard. And you know, I'm not racist or anything, but you know, the white people some white people you know get stuff handed to them because of who their mother and their dad is and their granddaddy and their grandma and all that crap is you know and don't get me wrong some black people get stuff handed to you because of who your mom dad our uncle such and such is you know what i'm saying but normally us african americans we have to work for twice we have to work for what we want twice as hard we don't get that easy way out you know what i'm saying we have to literally grind and struggle to get what we want in life, you know? And it shouldn't be that way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody should be treated in that way. This world we supposed to be doing anyway, but it clearly look like it ain't so that was a lie. But yeah, us black people have to work for anything that we want twice as hard, harder than the white people. Point blank, period. Chick-fil-A fries are better than McDonald's. I said what I said, okay? I said what I said, period. You know, um, don't get me wrong, McDonald's fries, they smack, you know, they good, especially when they fresh and hot. But McDonald's could never against Chick-fil-A. Not with their fries. Like, really, you really about to sit here and compare Chick-fil-A fries. McDonald's fries, come on now. Like I said, don't get me wrong, McDonald's fries, they smack, especially when they're hot and fresh. But Chick-fil-A fries will always, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong, they they charge too darn much for their food, but I mean, I'm still going to go there and give me an 8 count or 12 count and some fries or a chicken sandwich, guaranteed. So, point blank, period. And I'm still going to go to McDonald's and give me a medium or large fry and a chicken sandwich or some chicken nuggets, period, and a Sprite. But like I said, McDonald's still smacks. So don't bash me in the comments too much. Don't bash me in the comments too much. Um, the last one, last but not least, is having a kid right now is is not the move. Like, don't get me wrong, kids are a blessing. Babies are a blessing. I love little kids. At the moment, I don't have any kids of my own. I'm totally fine with that. I got plenty of god kids and nieces and nephews and brothers and sisters. Trust me, I don't need no kids right now. But um, I'm trying to I'm trying to travel. <laughs> I'm trying to travel the world. Okay. I don't. I'm not trying to sit here with a car seat and a knife bag on my shoulder. Don't get me wrong. Having a child doesn't stop your dream and goals in life, but it slows it down a lot. And that's a proven fact. It slows it down, especially if you don't have any support or any help. It slows it down. But not my move right now having a child it's just not my move right now like catch me in like three to four years right and maybe you know you might see a baby i don't know maybe but um having a kid right now is not my move right now like catch me in like three to four years from now maybe but yeah that's it for me um i don't know what else to say but yeah that's it for my little mini unpopular opinion video like i said those are my opinions like i said to each his own y'all can think what y'all want to think I already know y'all about to call for me in the comments. It is what it is, and it do what it do. Point blank, period. Like I said before, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That's it. That's all. Bye. Peace, love, and happiness.